welcome back to my channel and it is weekly vlog 48 i want to say so it's tuesday you guys know i don't record on a monday except from yesterday i did because i spoke to you yesterday at the end of last week's weekly vlog because i didn't finish the vlog the day before that but if you watched last week's vlog you'll already know that and if you did watch last week's vlog you'll probably be thinking sarah how is your hair so blonde and where's the pink gone? Well, last night after I finished editing the weekly vlog, me and Matthew fixed my roots finally. Oh my God, they were such a state. Like if you've been following along, you'll know that at Christmas, I didn't dye my roots properly because it was Christmas Eve. If it had been every, any other day, I would have managed to fix them. But because it was Christmas Eve at 11 o'clock at night, uh, yeah, it didn't lift enough. Um, my fault, I bought the wrong bleach, which is stupid because I know bleach. I just didn't have time to fix them. And then I thought I'd fix them after Christmas and I didn't, blah, blah, blah. But me and Matthew fixed it. So we've done my roots and then last month's roots. So that's why there's quite a lot of blonde and then faded like pink. So this is going to get pinked up probably tomorrow or possibly later on. So I don't have a headache today. Thank goodness, but I did yet air this morning, but it's already gone, which is great. So they're definitely getting better. And I had a headache yesterday morning, but not for the rest of the day. So they are just kind of on a morning now it's when i wake up which is not very nice but at least they are going away so i would have loved to have gotten up and gone to the gym today but i'm waiting for a package which i'm pretty sure i'm getting the package today i actually thought i was getting it yesterday so i thought if i'm not getting it yesterday then i'm getting it today and the packages from this company normally come at 10 o'clock in the morning and i've been waiting for this package and it's now half 11 and i'm really annoyed because i could have gone to the gym but I didn't want to go out to the gym because I thought I can't miss this package because it's not Royal Mail. It's like UPS, which is really hard to reorganise and stuff. So I'm really annoyed because it's like if I'd known, I would have already been out to the gym or I would have dyed my hair. I didn't want to get in the bath and dye my hair and then the guy knock on the door and there'd just be dye everywhere. So I've literally been sat around doing not much at all. I've done some emails and stuff on my phone and I wanted to sit downstairs so I heard the door. I'm probably being really like OTT about this but like yeah I'm just a bit like if I'd known I wasn't getting the package at 10 o'clock this morning I could have gotten on with things. So I'm sick of waiting. It's clearly not coming or if it does come it's not coming until later. I have no idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my bathroom because it needs doing and I really feel motivated to tidy and organize today. Matthew's not normally at work on a Tuesday but he is today because he has a presentation at work and he'll be back about half 12 and then we have two and a half hours to get to the gym because I can't go to the gym after three o'clock because I've got an off-peak membership so it's cheaper. So he's going to go to the gym with me again today. So see if that package had, had like if I'd known the package wasn't coming I would have dyed my hair and then gone to the gym this afternoon and it would be much more productive. Like, I hate wasting the day, especially when I got up early and, oh, it's so annoying. But never mind, I'm going to clean my bathroom and get ready. I've got about an hour till he gets home, so clean the bathroom, get ready. I will record today. I have spare batteries already charged. I'm much more motivated now I don't have headaches, or at least I don't have headaches during the day. I have some Etsy orders to go out as well, so I should really do that. Basically, I've got a few things to do, and maybe I shouldn't have been as lazy this morning, but I just didn't know what to do because, like... Oh, I didn't know whether this package was coming. Sorry, I keep playing with my hair, but it's like all freshly dyed and it feels nice. <laughs> and most of the things that I need to do are out of the house. And I couldn't go out the house. And another reason I've accepted that I'm clearly not going out is because it's snowing again. Oh, look at all that snow lying on the ground. I honestly feel like I've spent most of 2018 in the house because of the snow. I'm going to clean the bathroom and get ready and then we'll head out to the gym. So let's get on with the day. Oh, this hair does not suit me at all. I look so bad and so swollen. Anyway, we're at the gym, aren't we, Matthew? You're going to personal train me. <laughs> Let's go. You ready? Yep. I'm pretty sure I recorded some of that. I went to the gym, I feel good. 
Um, I'll probably be really tired in a couple of hours. In fact, I can already feel it start to kick in behind my eyes. That's where it normally starts when I've been to the gym. This hair colour does not suit me at all. Like, I look so like, I look like an egg. I really wanted to go out and see my sister and do a bit of shopping. Um, I wanted to go to Newcastle, but Amy doesn't want to go to Newcastle. So we're just gonna go to Metro Centre. Plus, my sister, little sister, just sent the birthday card through the post and in it was a 15 pound gift voucher. So I have a couple of things to take back to the shops that I was meant to take back last week when I got a headache and ended up coming home because I had a really bad migraine. And yeah, so I've got some stuff to take back uh, and just swap for things and I have uh, a gift card of my little sister for 15 pounds. So I'm just gonna hang out with my older sister for a little bit and do a little bit of shopping. I want some new workout clothes because I used to work out a lot when I was younger, but I was also smaller. So my workout clothes, I could put them on, but they'd be a bit uncomfortable, let's say that. So I'm gonna get myself some more workout clothes that are gonna be a bit more comfortable for me. Matthew drove to the gym and there was no snow and there's no snow now. So I quickly got changed and I'm straight back out and I'm going to the shops. Um, we'll see how I am with tiredness, but I'm just hanging out with my sister doing a bit of shopping. I can always just come home, like no need to stress about it. So I'm feeling okay at the minute. I really, really want the Mickeys. Oh, no, I forgot my 20% off voucher for Disney Store. I'll have to text Matthew to get him to send me a picture. Oh, I can't believe I've done that. I have a 20% voucher for Disney Store and I haven't bought anything online because I want to see if I can get it in store because I'm weird and I like buying things in store and picking them myself. I also don't like paying for delivery if I can pick them up. Uh, so yeah, I have to text Matthew for my 20% off voucher. I don't know if I'm getting anything in Disney Store. I think the Mickey Memories Cup will be gone now. It's still available online. So if I can't get it today in store, I'm gonna order it online with the code. But anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbing and we're gonna go to the shops for a few hours. And I'll obviously take you with us. And we're, I think we're gonna get pizza. And I don't think my nephew's coming with us. So we'll probably get a lot more shopping done if it's just me and my sister. But I didn't realize my nephew wasn't coming. She texted us and I was like, oh, I kind of wanted to see him, bless him. But I'm sure I'll see him in the next few days. So yeah, I'm gonna stop blabbing and we're gonna go shopping. I'm just waiting for Amy. Surprise, surprise. She hasn't even left the house yet but I've got a cup of tea. I am now back home. So I showed you all the stores I went into, but I realized that it won't seem like very many because the stores that I went into, there was other stores I went into. I was just explaining that I recorded the stores I went into, but when I thought about it, on camera, there's only Disney store recorded and Gourmet Burger and Starbucks because I can't record in River Island and H&M. So I went into more shops, but I can't record in them. I took some pictures and I put them on Instagram, so I'll put them at the side. I found this really cute Tweety Pie uh, tracksuit kind of jogger bottom set in H&M. And you're not even supposed to take pictures in there, but I think it's easier for me to try and slightly take pictures than it is to like record. So yeah, I went into Disney store 
and River Island and H&M, but I couldn't record in H&M River Island. And then I did go in Primark, but there was nothing new in, and I was carrying my basket and Amy's basket because Amy wasn't feeling very good and had to go to the toilet. So I had both of our baskets, and I had to go to the till with her stuff, and I just didn't have any free hands for the camera, but honestly, there was nothing new. All I got was some gym stuff, so I will show that in a Primark haul very soon. Um, but yeah, then I came home. So I was out a few hours, but it doesn't come across on camera because I can't record in half the stores. I'm going to go to bed now because it's quarter to 11 and I'm knackered. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to try and go to the gym in the morning. I also need to go to the post office. I need to go to Asda since I didn't go tonight since, because I'm just too tired from the gym. Um, and I also need to dye my hair. Oh, I've got loads to do tomorrow. So I'm going to get to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day and I'm just making myself some breakfast. I've got such a croaky voice because I'm so tired from yesterday. Metro was good and so was the gym, but now I'm tired. So I'm not going to go to the gym today like I thought I was. Um, but I do still need to go out to Asda and stuff. So I'm just making myself some breakfast. And I bought this plate yesterday when I was in Disney store. So I'm going to have my toast on this. And I bought this cup. <coughs> I can't even speak. Whoa. <clears throat> I bought this cup when I was in Disney store as well. Yay, I got the Memories January cup. I stood for about 15 minutes looking at the pins because there was three sets left and I was like, should I get the pins as well and have the whole set? But you can't get a discount on them, which is a shame. So I got 20% off on this because there's 20% off vouchers going down at Disney store at the minute. So this was only like four pound. It's like plastic, it's mini rocks the dots. It's got mini mouse on it. I also want the big plate as well. But yeah, I got that 20% off. But I got to the tail and I couldn't get 20% off. I totally forgot you can't get 20% off limited edition. So yeah, I got this cup. So I'm so glad I managed to get the cup and the plush from the first series. Um, it's almost time for the second series. Probably won't be able to afford to get anything from that one. But at least I got my, my birthday, like January uh, month. I do kind of still want the pins. But at the same time, it's £15. I could spend that on something else. So I don't think I'll get the pins. But um. I'm gonna have my cup of tea out of my cup and my toast on my plate. Although it's so nice and smooth and everything, I was wondering if you're actually supposed to use it. Like, I don't want the quote to come off and stuff. And I showed you the plush at the end of last month's weekly vlog that matches this if you watched that and if you didn't go and check it out. So this is the Mickey Memories collection. There's a plush, a cup, there's my toast. A plush, a cup, a plush, a cup, and a pin set every month for this year. On the 18th, it's released every month. So the next one is February the 18th, and I got the plush who I showed you last month, and this is the cup, and I didn't get the pins. Anyway, I'm gonna have my breakfast, and I'm gonna use this cup, but I'm really worried about using it. <laughs> Hey guys, I know I spoke to you this morning because it was not that long ago. I've had a little bit of a rest. I was on the sofa for about an hour, not too much. I'm just gonna head out because I have some Etsy orders to do. I've just packaged them up. Um, and then I'm gonna look to Asda and then I'm gonna come back and then I've got some pictures to take and I'm gonna dye my hair and I'm just getting on with a couple of things, a bit of tidying to do and stuff. So I'm not gonna take the camera because it's really hard for me to do the Asda shop. I've said this before, um, pushing the trolley around. Uh, especially on my own and because I'm tired anyway. I'll speak to you guys when I get back. Okay, so just ignore all the washing behind me. Oh, my legs from the gym. <laughs> I am just putting the shopping away and I always get loads of questions like what we buy and stuff. Yeah, so I thought I'd like show you some of the things. Um, some things go in the cupboard over there and some things go in the cupboard up there, but I thought, I don't know, I'll at least show you what I can. So I'm just doing the fridge stuff now. I try to pack it all, or at least I managed to do quite well to put everything on the conveyor belt. It needs to go in the same section so then it all went in the right bag so this should be all the fridge stuff so we always get kale i don't really eat this too much and um, it's for the rabbit mainly and matthew uses it in smoothies if i have a smoothie and um, which i want to do more of then i do put kale in but we don't really have it on food or anything spinach again we put this on like spaghetti and things uh rabbit and smoothies coriander this is for the rabbit he's a spoiled little bun kale for the rabbit or for smoothies. Mushrooms, I kind of went OTT on mushrooms a while ago and stopped buying them for ages, but I've been buying them again because um, I've been putting them in wraps on a lunchtime or in spaghetti. I say spaghetti, I always make this type of meal that has like a tomato based sauce and I do it with like pasta and things. Um, and I, I do different every time, like different spice. oh spices. I wanted to get some more spices, some Italian herb. 
but this granny was stood in front of them for ages and I told myself I'd go back and I knew there was something I'd forgotten. But anyway, yeah, so I, I always season them different and put like different veg in. And sometimes we put meatball in, sometimes we put like, oh, uh, meatball, sometimes like mince or chicken. But yeah, I just call it spaghetti, but it like varies. Grapes, possibly my favourite fruit ever. I love grapes. Sweet corn, pretty much entirely for the bun, but if I know I'm going to the shops again, and there's quite a bit of this left still, so it doesn't matter if I use it up, I cut it up and put it in wraps on a lunchtime. But normally this is the buns, like, this is his favourite thing in the world. He has to have it every morning or he's a little grumpy. Trimmed beans, sometimes I put these on a Sunday dinner, but usually for the, for the rabbit. When I say Sunday dinner, you know, when I do my sausage dinner thing, I call it Sunday dinner. Broccoli, again, kind of for the rabbit, but more for when me and Matthew have, like, dinners, like Sunday dinners. Avocado. Oh my god, I love avocado. I'll put these on wraps. Uh, Matthew will make guacamole if we have nachos. I mash this up and put it with potato. Like, literally avocado, I could have all day, every day. So, bananas. Matthew eats a lot of bananas and I have them as snacks. Or if I have fruit and yogurt on a morning, I have that. Um, but yeah, Matthew has a lot of them. Mangoes. I don't buy these too often because they're expensive, but they're on offer and I love mangoes. Like, mangoes probably is my second favourite fruit. Oh, is it? Because I like strawberries a lot as well. But basically, I think my favourite fruit is grapes. Okay, there's some more fruit. Oh, there's some more fridge stuff, but it's in different bags. So we'll move on to another bag now. There's loads of washing on the floor at the minute because we are doing loads of washing. So yeah, there's loads of washing on the floor at the minute because there's loads of washing getting done. But I'm moving on to the cupboard now. Uh, Ganache, absolutely love this. It's like a cross between a dumpling and a potato. And if I was food, this would basically be me. Ganache is life. I got some tissues because with my bad heads, I've been getting a constantly streaming nose and I'm sick of using up our toilet roll. Um, so I bought these, they were only a pound, just some tissues. I bought some bread. I'm trying to eat a lot healthier this week. So you might notice that there's no sweets or nothing, um, like no chocolate, no nothing like that. I'm trying to eat healthier this week. Like now I'm at the gym and my head's starting to feel better. Now I want to start adding in the healthy eating because now I can eat less. Whereas when I had a headache, I had to eat constantly or my head would get worse. So I've been trying to get um, like the healthy option of things as well. So I, w I love brown uh, white bread, white bread all the way. I hate brown bread. I don't like the smell. The taste is fine, but white bread's more satisfying to me. Um, it smells better as well. Oh, my mouth's watering. But anyway, I kind of went for an in-between and I got this really extremely seeded one for some burgers that Matthew will make during the week. So they actually need to go all in here. Rice noodles for dinners and lunches. Salsa for fajitas, that needs to go in the fridge. Me and Matthew, I think I've tried these before, but they're expensive and they were on offer for a pound. They're just like little thingies. Most of them have like stuff in that we don't want to eat, but these ones didn't, these two. Whole grain Mexican chili and sweet and sour. So Matthew can either take these for lunches or I'll have them for lunch. I might even have one today. I just thought we'd try them because they were on offer and normally they're expensive. But lotty beans. We use beans in like lunches, dinners, we use beans like constantly. Ketchup, that needs to go in the fridge. We ran out of all of our condiments, so mayonnaise, uh, mayonnaise? Mustard, not mayonnaise. Um, the gravy I always get, people always ask, vegetarian gravy granules from Asda. We get loads of these, these are what I use in all my spaghettis and things. Spaghettis, like tomato based things, per salad, it's like 45p. Got some uh, Violife. Um, like dairy free cheese for fajitas, um, anything really. Now that I'm starting the gym, I'll probably want like snacks and things when I come out of the gym if I'm feeling like dizzy or I like to carry snacks in my bag if I'm feeling dizzy. So I, um, I bought some of these. These are my favourites. I actually really like the Trek or oh, the other Trek ones that are chocolate, but you can't buy them in multi-packs in stores. They're really expensive, but, and normally like, I'll just take a banana to have after the gym, but I just thought I'd treat myself to these this time. Marrow fat peas, you've got to have the fat peas, the skinny peas aren't worth your time. More passat. Red lentils, I don't like green lentils. And whole wheat pasta, I always have uh, the whole wheat pasta, I don't mind the taste of whole wheat pasta. And this is like the yoghurt I get for breakfast when I have fruit and yoghurt. And this time I got coconut, but there's also plain vanilla or almond which I had last time which was surprisingly nice but I don't know if it was a little too sweet for breakfast but I got coconut this time. Okay so you're on the bench now because I'm going on to the other cupboard so these need to go in that cupboard up here. This is where we keep like crisps, uh, like sweets, uh, yeah that sort of thing so they're like chocolatey bar things so they go up there. 
By the way, if this is boring, let me know and I won't do this again. My favourite bread in the world. I would have this for breakfast as toast with a load of butter every morning if I could. But I need to stop doing it because it's not very good for you. And I freeze that because it takes me about a week and a half to get through this. And it would probably go mouldy in that time. So that needs to go in the freezer. Porridge. I, I love this with fruit. I can't eat it without fruit though. It has to have fruit in it. So either blueberries or grapes. I uh, cut up grapes and have that with. And we also put it in smoothies. Look at all the recycling that needs taken out. I am scruff. I'm going to go and do it now though. Well, after I've done this. Oh, there's loads more beans. Okay, sweet corn, chickpeas, two tins of kidney beans, uh, mixed bean salad, butter beans and black eye beans. So I need to put all of these in that cupboard down there. Boring things, bleach, uh, bench wipes and cloths for doing the dishes. Mint sauce, like I said, we ran out of all our condiments. This is the moisturizer I used and I'd run out and it was on offer. Um, some bolognese sauce and some dark soy sauce. Okay, one bag left and then there's just a few things that weren't in a bag. Oh no, the battery's dying. So these for breakfast, because they're my absolute favorites. I only like to do them when Matthew's in the house though, so I don't get to have them, like on the morning I mean, so we don't get to have them very often. Cookie and cream from Asda, probably is the only kind of naughty thing I got. I've never had these before, but they looked good and they were on offer. Some, I don't know, fillet things, so we'll have them for dinner probably tonight. These because I like to just have like one or two every now and then with like a dinner and then you don't have to cook a whole baguette. Frozen blueberries because they're cheaper than fresh ones and then you put them on your porridge and they melt anyway and like defrost so. My favourite sausages in the world and meat free as the meatballs to packets. I'm just trying to like hurry up now because the camera's dying and all these need to go in the freezer that way so. Two packets of peppers, big bag of potatoes because potatoes are life. And then the last thing is two almond milks. This is my favorite almond milk in the world. It's expensive, but we get cheaper soy milk so that I can get my more expensive almond milk for my tea because I'm obsessed with tea. And then this is the soy milk we get. If I could, I would get the soy milk in this brand, the original, but it's too expensive. So two of these and three of these, and that is everything. And the camera's gonna die. So I'm just gonna put these in the freezer and the last few like things in the cupboards. And we're done, and it's lunchtime. I just really quickly found some more stuff. So some wraps. Normally, like I was saying, I prefer white, but Matthew thinks brown's healthier and prefers brown. So I got an in-between white and brown wraps for fajitas and lunches. This is Matthew's bread. I think it's horrible. Ugh, I have white bread and I shouldn't have white bread. And a couple of these from Home Bargains for snacks. Normally I would have them, but now that I'm trying to eat better, um, I don't think I'll have a lot of these. These will probably be for Matthew when he's at work. And then the only other things I got was like my conditioner that I normally get and hand wash, so boring stuff. So the camera's gonna die. <laughs> oh, this looks weird without makeup. <laughs> Basically, I was just getting a photo for Instagram of this epic top. Uh, should you need us from the labyrinth if, um, if you haven't seen the labyrinth then what's wrong with you? But Truffle Shuffle, um, very kindly, um, wanted to work with me and sent me some goodies like I always choose everything so I'm gonna be doing a full truffle shuffle haul But um, yeah, I want to start getting pictures of the stuff as well So if you haven't seen that Instagram picture here it is for people that don't have Instagram because I know some people don't have Instagram And um, when I've been hang on I'm gonna take this off because it's hurting my head and I don't want another headache Oh look at that mini hair underneath <laughs> people to miss out that don't have Instagram because I use Instagram like a lot and Twitter um, my photos always go on there and when I've been putting my Instagram photos on YouTube loads of people are like oh my god like I don't have Instagram so I don't get to see these and it's like yeah people really like it so I'm gonna be doing a full truffle shuffle haul they've sent me quite a few goodies I did pick them all they, they really spoiled me seriously they did if you don't know who truffle shuffle are I have a discount code I'll put it on the screen um, and I'll put the link below as well but I am gonna be doing a full haul but yeah I was just getting a picture basically I had some lunch and before it gets dark I just wanted to get a picture because um, I haven't really been putting up a lot of really good photos on Instagram because I've had headaches and stuff so I've been putting filler photos up which I hate so um, at least I've got a good photo for tonight and hopefully I'll get some more tomorrow um, I'm kind of losing the light now but never mind and look at this if you don't know who this guy is then what's wrong with you but it's a little cup hello <laughs> So yeah, I just took a photo of like these. The picture I'll put up at the side so you can see what it looks like. Quite a bit of tidying to do and I want to make the dinner for Matthew coming in because he's not going to the gym. I'm pretty sure Matthew has next week off so we're going to be doing loads of house stuff. So I want to try and get loads of videos recorded this week so next week I can concentrate on either just editing one or and then get on with tidying or just tidying so we'll see. But I'm going to get changed out of this and go and do some tidying and make the dinner. Me and Matthew have just come up to bed to watch 
the labyrinth. Why do you always hide? Because I'm embarrassed, Sarah. Why are you embarrassed? Because look at this. Look at what? What's look wrong? At this. What's wrong with this? Look at where I live. Look at where I sleep. <laughs> you only complain on camera. I complain every day. No, you don't. Do. I've just had to friggin... Everybody knows you live in this house. It's too late. I've just had to wrestle three Mickey and Minnie massive teddies off the bed just to get in it. You're only complaining because you're on camera. You love it all, really. Say goodnight so we can watch the labyrinth. Good night. <laughs> okay, guys. Good morning. It is the next day. Just coming down the stairs. Whoa. There we go. Um, yeah, so I knew I was getting the package today. And, well, I think I explained other days as well that I'd been waiting in on, like, Monday, Tuesday and yesterday because I knew I was getting a package and I didn't want to miss it because I know who the package is from. So I know what time it comes and who it comes by and that it's bad to miss it sort of thing because it's really hard to re-deliver it and all that. So I'm waiting on two packages. One has just come. The other one, I think, will come about two o'clock. I kind of, like, once you've worked with a company, you kind of know who they send their stuff by and then when it'll come. And the packages that I get at 10 o'clock in the morning, specifically around eight minutes to 10 every time, are from a Disney store. So I knew I couldn't go straight out to the gym this morning for nine o'clock because I was very sure that the package was coming today and it's just come. So let me just show you what package I just got from Disney store. I haven't opened it yet, but oh my God. So I've, this is my third package from Disney store. I'm like so grateful. I can't believe they send me things like at all. This time I knew I was getting this. That's why This is why I've been waiting in the last few days for this because I didn't want to miss it because I'm very excited for it. Um, yeah, so I don't, I know what's in it, but not exactly what's in it. So I know what should be in it, like the range, because it's a new range, but I don't know what's in it. So anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbing. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna open it and I'm so excited. And then I need to put it on my Instagram as well. But this is the box that just arrived. So I've put um, this over my address because there's like a big address label there. But seriously, <laughs> this box is like literally, this is my leg here. Just ignore my crazy pajamas. That's my knee. It's mid thigh. The box comes up to mid thigh. Like seriously, what the heck is in here? This is as big as the box I received from them when I went to the event and I got gifted a load of items and bought some items. So, so if you watched that event vlog, I and if you've watched that event haul as well and seen all the stuff, uh, I had to get everything sent back um, because I couldn't carry it on the train. And it came the next morning, like at eight o'clock in the morning, in a box this size. In fact, it might have been a tiny bit shorter. So. Yeah, this is a giant box, so I'm gonna get it over to the sofa and we're gonna open it, but I think I might need a cup of tea because I'm literally hyperventilating and I'm so excited. Oh, special delivery! Okay, I'm excited. I'm gonna make a cup of tea and then we're gonna get this massive box open and the box, the bun over there, is already so excited for this box. You've already got two boxes. You'll want this one though. The Disney ones are always his favourite for some reason. I don't know if it's the type of box they use, but the one that I got at Christmas, he was obsessed with. And we had to get rid of it to get the table in for Christmas Day. Like, some of you will probably remember that. And he was gutted he, that he, like, never got his box back because we ended up chucking it out. So, he can have a new big box. Even though this one's quite big, but it's not as big as this one. This one's taller and it's wider and stuff. That, that one's on its side. But anyway, let's make a cup of tea and then get this open. Oh my god, the guy had to carry it in. Like, I couldn't carry it. It's crazy. It also says fragile on it. I have no idea why it would say fragile, because I know what the range is. I can't think. Right, let's make a cup of tea and get this open. Okay, hang on. I'm sitting on something. Oh god. Okay, so I've set these up. I think it's okay. You can probably see some rubbish on the bench and stuff. Well, not rubbish, but I've got a few things on the bench over there, but never mind. You guys probably don't mind, hopefully. Um, I haven't even brushed my hair, so apologies if I look in absolute state. I think I can remove this and you can't see the address. Yeah. So the box is here. This is literally how big the box is. Like I could sit at it like a table. Like I'm not trying to brag. I'm just saying, what? Like what is my life? <laughs> I was literally still making a cup of tea and the tears were coming on. I was just like, oh, I'm just so grateful. Like still, Ugh, I don't want to like put it in the rug like so much that it just, it's just like, come on Sarah, hope and show us what's in the box. But it's just like, seriously, how am I receiving this? In my front door from Disney store. I don't, I don't understand. Like, thank you. <laughs> but uh, I'll get it open and stop, stop going on. Good thing I didn't go at the gym. This is way better than the gym. The bun will be over in a minute. He's looking. <sighs> Whoa, that's a big one. Oh, it's got a big bow on it. Oh, 
Oh, there's a little note there. I know what this range is. I don't know what's in the box, but like, I know what the range is, but I don't know what I'm getting from the range. So the range is called Oh My Disney. I did show you it when I went to Disney store. Um, did I go to Disney store on Tuesday? So it's called Oh My Disney, which is also a YouTube channel. If you didn't know, I follow it. Um, oh My Disney is the ultimate digital destination for your regular dose of Disney. Disney Store is excited to announce that they are now stocking the first ever exclusive All My Disney collection. Ranging from notebooks to passport holders and purses, these are dream gifts for the ultimate Disney fan. Please find a selection of goodies inside. Oh, oh awesome. So it's All My Disney. Oh my God, it's the box that I got last time, but way bigger. Okay, I'm gonna remove this box. Actually, I'm gonna turn it on its side so I can put this on it. There we go. So this is the box that they gave me last time, but bigger. I love these boxes. Like I still have my other one. Hang on. So I absolutely adore these boxes. I still have my other one uh, upstairs and it like kept nice, kept away from that bun over there. So that, oh, there he is. So that he doesn't uh, chew it because it is like cardboard, but it's so, oh my God. And it's all ripping. Oh, it's lovely. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's get this open. Oh, this is the moment that's always like, I can feel tears i'm gonna put these up a little bit actually because you can't really see my face as much oh yes oh, oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god this box is huge oh wow that wasn't in my disney store oh wow is that a passport holder oh my god it's a passport holder okay so i'm just gonna pull things out there's quite a few things there's all this amazing tissue paper as well this makeup bag and it said it's lion king it says you've got to put your behind in your past which obviously Rafiki says to Simba and this is nine pound in Disney store and it's got them walking across there it feels really soft it's like a faux leather it's got like a gold zip so it obviously just unzips oh wow look at the inside oh and it says all oh, my Disney on it that's so cool so can you see the line inside the lining it's like Lion King how amazing is that it's really nice thank you so much Disney store uh, wow. I wonder if I can use it for something else so that I don't get it as dirty in my bag. Oh, I can see the notebook that I liked. Okay, here's the princess tag, uh, the, the luggage tag. I don't need a prince because I already have one. That, that's my reasoning for having this luggage tag. I was thinking about it the other day because I was actually gonna buy it in store. So this is eight pound in store. And then obviously you put your address on that side and then no prints needed. God, they are spoiling me. So this is the mirror mirror on the wall. I like what I see. Oh my Disney glass compact mirror. Wow, look at that. And this is 10 pound, is that all? Cause this is really heavy. So it comes in like a foamy thing, like the mini rocks the dots one did last time. Was that last week or the week before I opened that? Oh wow, this is nice, so nice. Okay, so the black is glittery. Oh wow, this is so cool. It's It just feels evil. Mirror mirror on the wall, I like what I see and there's evil queen there. And then like, it's it's a good like hand size and then it opens up so you would like hold it like that. And then it even says, oh my Disney on the mirror there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is nice for 10 pound. Whoa. Five more minutes. So this is a sleeping beauty. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. Oh, wow. I need to stop saying wow and oh my God. Oh, that is nice. So this is a flask, like a tea, like hot flask. Everything's freezing, it must have been in the van. Like, oh, it's weird. Really heavy, like it's, this is great quality for the price. I love the prices of these things, it's so cool. So this is actually only 10 pound. So it's really heavy, it's really thick. I mean, you can see how thick it is. So it's got like the cast, Sleeping Beauty's castle on, all these like roses, and then it says five more minutes on it. So that's 10 pound, so cool. I wonder what that I wonder why you can pull that out the bottom to clean it maybe um and then on the top I've never seen a drinking flask like this so you can pull it off there like that and then just have it as like a glass and it's like rubberized and then it just slides up and you drink out of there my new favorite drinking like flask oh this is so cool is it like a purse oh <gasps> wow Cheshire Cat keychain and it's also a little like purse like money purse if i'm correct that is actually what he says in the movie everybody thinks that what he says in the movie is we're all mad here but he doesn't he says if you can hear chewing i'm really sorry by the way but the rabbits oh hang on a second the rabbits pulling the box so yeah i looked into that because loads of people have a tattoo that says we're all mad here 
And I looked into it because if I'm going to get something like that, I would want it to be what it actually is in the movie. And when I've watched the movie, I'm sure he says almost everyone is mad here and not we're all mad here. Like everybody gets the tattoo. So, and everybody has, like a lot of people have that tattoo as well, but I feel like it's still okay for me to get it if I get what he actually says. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure that's what he actually says in the original book and in the animated movie. But anyway, so this is a faux leather. It's really nice and it's pink. And then underneath there's a little clasp and it's a little purse. Just a little one, but you could fit some like stuff in there, like emergency money, and then hang that on your bag and nobody would know that was a purse. That's really cool, I really like that. Okay, so this is the, I, I actually really needed some of these, so this is great. I seen this in the, st in the store the other day and I was looking at them like, mm hmm yes, I do need you. These are only six pound. This, all my Disney collection is really affordable. So there's seven different ones. So obviously you write on them and then peel them off and then they come in this really handy thing as well. So you can just put that on your desk and then peel them off when you need them. I really like that. Okay, this is what I seen back at the event. Oh my god, I love it. This is what I seen back at the event in November. It's so glittery. It's it's unbelievably glittery. Mondays are evil and then that's the evil queen. And it actually has five different little like uh, placement holders and the... Uh, like side is gold so it says all oh, my disney on the side there and this is like shiny kind of like it doesn't feel like paper like it's like shiny oh that's actually really cool so the pages don't have any artwork on but oh okay there is five different types of line color in it so the first set the first like fifth of the book is like really light pink lines I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna try and explain this the best I can. Light pink lines, and then it ends where the light pink ribbon ends. And then the next section, if you go to the dark pink, is dark pink lines. And then it ends where the dark pink ribbon is. And then green lines, black lines, and yellow lines. And then there's a ribbon for each section. I will actually link everything that I'm showing you uh, in the Dropbox. So go and check it all out in the Dropbox. It is really nice. Oh, it's even nicer inside. So this is £10 and this is a passport holder. <gasps> mm, next time I go to Disneyland. So it says Midnight Curfew and it is really holographic and sparkly. So this is obviously like Cinderella. And then look inside, it's Cinderella's like lovely blue. And then it's got the Walt Disney World Castle there. Well, I imagine it's Cinderella's Castle, so Walt Disney World Castle. It's just the holographic on the back, there's no artwork on the back. I believe this is the last thing. Ooh, I like these. So these are six pounds. This range is so affordable. So there's uh, nine pencils, sorry, I nearly said six because I said six pound. So there's a blue one that has red holographic All My Disney writing on it. And they're all like themed to the color of like the writing. And then they've got like little images on as well. And then rubbers and the pencils. And they're not colored pencils, they're normal pencils. So they're very, uh, I think I'll keep them in this as well and then just pull them out when I need them. Oh my god, I am kitted out. I am so lucky right now. Yeah, okay, so I'm pretty sure that's everything in here. I know there's also a bag, which is a Bambi bag. There's also, I think I took a picture of it as well, so I might put the bag at the side. There's a Mulan water bottle, I know. Uh, what else is there? Oh, there's a few things, but I will link it all below for you guys. And Disney Store, thank you so much for sending me all this. Literally don't know what I've done. done to, I can't even get my words out. Don't know what I've done to deserve this. Like, excuse me a second while I take a... I can't get my words out. Take a sip of cup of tea and try and take this in. January memories cup. It's almost time for February memories. Who's getting it? I'm really worried about collecting these memories things because when you think about it at the end of the year, how much you'll have spent on it. But it's so satisfying at the same time. Mr. Bun, what are you doing? Like if you get all 12 plushes, uh, that's 300 quid? No, is that right? 300 quid? And the cups is half that, so 150. I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym and yeah. I'll take you to the gym with me. I am on my own, so I might not be as confident recording. We'll see how busy it is. But I will catch you guys in a little bit. And thank you, Disney Store. Thank you. Is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Oh, I love it. Anyway, that took me three hours 20 to do that. So basically, it came at eight minutes to 10. It's now nearly eight, it's eight minutes past uh, one. So it took me three hours to show you guys everything, put it all back together, take professional photos for Instagram and then film it all again for Instagram story three hours 
So that was like getting links for everything, getting the lighting. I had to bring my lighting down to do photos. Um, I also do my videos on Snapchat and then transfer them over to Instagram. Everything needed three tags, uh, like hashtags and things. Uh, I had to go up to the computer to get the different links for different things. Woo! So I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. I'm just trying to put into perspective why it takes three hours to do that. So it's amazing getting things from Disney Store, but it isn't just a case of opening it and being like, oh, that's amazing. Like you have to put it round. That's how it works. And I haven't even finished putting it round yet. I think I'm doing a live stream later. And also I still need to edit the photos and put them on my main feed tonight. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't want anything else for a job. Like I absolutely love this. Like I enjoy doing this. It's taken three hours though. And I wanted to be at the gym and back before two because I think my postman will come at two o'clock and I think I've got another package at two. So I'm gonna really quickly go to the gym now. I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna go to the gym. Uh, what the heck? I literally just turned around and he was like this. I don't know how he's gotten up there. I was talking, like, did you guys hear him jump up? Could you guys see him behind me? Like, like what the heck? Button? What are you doing? How did you, did you get on the puffy? I still haven't sorted out these curtains. I know I'm terrible. Did you get on there? And then did you get up there? Cause that's really weird. So yeah, I told you he loves a good Disney store box. Bun, that bit there, like isn't safe. Right guys, I'm gonna have to put this down in case he does something stupid. Okay, so I've just tied my hair back. It's funny cause the ends are pink, but the top's blonde. It looks a bit ridiculous, but it's the gym. Also, I'm not wearing any makeup. I don't feel too bad about my skin, plus I don't really care what people think. Um, I've got my new I Don't Sweat, this is Pixie Dust top on, and my new Tinkerbell, I've got them rolled right down, but it says the same on there, Pixie Dust, and then there's Tinkerbell there, so I roll them down because they hurt my waist. I'll pull them up when I squat and stuff so my butt doesn't come out, and then they've got, hang on, they've got um, these on the knees, and then stars all over. And then I've just got like my iron rocks on. This is mine and my sister's brand. If anybody wants any, by the way, we do them in pink and we do them in purple. I don't mention them very often, but if anybody does want any, we have sizes three to eight, purple or pink. So an iron rocks Instagram as well, if anyone wants to check it out. But uh, yeah, I um, was like squatting and deadlifting them the other day and they are so perfect for that. Like I'm very proud of my, me and my sister for making them. And loads of days are probably like, why did you make workout shoes when you don't work out? Well, I used to do a lot more kind of exercise and working out. And I'm very interested in it all, but my MA got so bad that I couldn't. But anyway, we're back to it, so it's fine. So this is what I'm wearing and I'm gonna get going. I'm not gonna take my camera because I've got my iPod and my big water bottle. And I also need to take my phone because it's got my workout on it. Uh, so I don't really want to carry my camera as well. It's the first time on my own as well. So I don't really want to be putting the camera on myself and people be like, and thinking, oh, she's full of herself. <laughs> so I'll probably take, I will like take you sometimes. Don't worry, the more confident I get. But, and I have, think, I think I've already recorded this week or I've definitely already recorded last week, me at the gym. I went on Tuesday. I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get going, so I'll speak to you guys when I get back. Hey guys, I got back from the gym an hour or two ago. Um, I'm absolutely starving, like starving. So one thing that I really don't wanna to go too much into is I'm gonna go on a calorie deficit, um, which means that I eat less, I intake less energy than what I'm expending to lose fat um, alongside the gym. So like, I've, I've done my research and I could explain it all so that it's done in a healthy way because that's how I'm gonna do it. But like I said, I'm not an expert. So anyway, um, so I've eaten less calories today, if you want to put it that way. So I'm absolutely starving. I'm absolutely starving. So I don't, I think I'm going to end up going over my calories today because you can't just go straight into it because that's how I get headaches. And we all know that I'm sick of my headaches. I started eating healthy the last few days and started lowering my, like my calorie intake. And then yesterday I kind of started to lower my calorie intake. And then today is the first day I've kind of tried to stick to my calorie intake which like don't be silly guys and eat like no calories like you will like it's not good for you like i'm eating a good amount to lose weight to lose fat slowly like i'm doing it really healthy but anyway obviously it's still a shock to the body because i've been eating like a pig over christmas and stuff so i'm absolutely starving so i'm just making myself some dinner i'm making a creamy linguine pasta which i've never made before so i've just put an avocado in the blender so i've got this recipe i just found it online um i'm putting in an avocado which i've done basil which i don't have um but i'm not that fussed on making like putting like loads of the things in because i'll just season it i know it's obviously more nutritious for you but i'm still working out the types of meals i'm gonna make and i just went to the shops yesterday and i didn't buy basil 
and stuff like that. I bought coriander actually, but this doesn't call for corian coriander. Okay, so this is not baby spinach, it's spinach, but it's the same thing. Minced garlic. Don't have any garlic, which is, like I say, I don't have everything, but I'm gonna put in a little bit of garlic pepper. This is what I'm excited for. This is gonna be so creamy. Right, now what? One tablespoon of water. Right, okay. So I've created a small mess around me from making this food, but this is it. It's like a creamy sauce. Oh my God, it's, it smells so good. And I put sweet corn in. I didn't have any cherry tomatoes or any basil to top it or anything, um, but it's got spring greens in it and sweet corn. I would have liked cherry tomatoes as well, but I just I just don't have any. Um, and there's nothing else like easy I could put in without like doing another pepper and I had pepper for lunch and stuff. So yeah, but it looks really tasty and it smells so good. So I'm gonna eat this. Hey guys, it's actually the next day. I don't know why, but well, I do kind of know why. Basically, yesterday, the gym was just so hard. It kind of set off my PMT, which I know is ridiculous, but you guys know, am I even in focus? You guys know that the reason I'm going to the gym is because my hormones are ridiculous. So yeah, I didn't dye my hair. I didn't record, I didn't do any work, like I did nothing. I sat on the sofa after I made my dinner for the rest of the night and just sulked. And then today, I haven't been in as bad a mood, but I've been really unmotivated and just a bit kind of like lethargic and stuff and just, I don't even know. And the stupid thing with me is as well, it's like if I need that kind of day off, I should just say to myself and do it. But I always beat myself up and I sit on the sofa all day like, I should go and do some work, I should go and do some work. And then I end up spending the whole day on the sofa, but not really feeling like I've had a day on the sofa. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm gonna stop complaining because I've made myself get ready and I'm gonna go and meet Matthew at Merrill Centre. He's just finished work 20 minutes ago. So I need to hurry up before he gets there. Um, I don't want him waiting around for me. I really fancied the pictures, but there's nothing out. Coco isn't on after 10 to five. Like, I'm sorry, but there isn't just children that want to see that. Like, Matthew wants to see it and he finishes work at five, so that's annoying. But anyway, I think we're going to go and get some food, have a little bit of a wonder, but there's not much new in the shops at the minute. And to be honest, we just kind of want to hang out in the arcade and have some fun. And Matthew's got next week off, so that'll be fun. So we don't want to have a late night. And I want to get up and make, like, a nice breakfast for Matthew and have breakfast in bed and stuff. So I'm going to cheer myself up and go out. But by the way, how cool is this t-shirt from Truffle Shuffle? And they give me a code for 15% off, which I think is really good. So, um, yeah, use the code SLPORTER15 at checkout to get money off anything on Truffle Shuffle. I'm pretty sure it, it isn't like, you don't have to spend a certain amount and it's off anything on the store. So they have this in, um, they have loads in, like you're gonna have to wait to see my um, whole video. But they also have, I don't think they have this one. This is, um, you, you'll have seen this if you've seen my Spoiled Brat haul. This is from Spoiled Brat. But Truffle Shuffle also have the pink version of this. So you can get the pink version with 15% off if you use my code on Truffle Shuffle. I'm gonna stop talking and go before I'm late for Matthew. So it's the same but different colours? Yep, it's the same every month. There's no way you'll get another every month. Not long gone 
back. I am so tired. It's 20 to 12 and I was just doing a bit of Instagram. I'm so tired. Um, shout out to the lovely girl who I stupidly forgot to ask her name. But um, one of the staff members in Gourmet Burger Kitchen recognised me. She watches my videos and she gave us free drinks and she was really lovely. So thank you for doing that. That was lovely. And it was really weird as well, like being recognised and being given free drinks, but it was so cool. So yeah, thank you for that. And I'm going to get to bed because I'm knackered. I had a really good time in the arcade with Matthew though. I've cheered up quite a lot. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning for pastries. I can't wait. Breakfast time. Excited. Oh, they've got like yellow on them. It's just that one. Oh. Say what day? Going to the gym. Going to the gym. No, you say Saturday morning. Going to the gym. Yeah. No, you're okay. Matthew's going to show you a... What is this? A spinning kick. Go on then. Hey guys, I haven't spoke to you as much today. Uh, it wasn't intentional or anything, just, I don't know. I guess it was the first day off that I've had with Matthew for a while. Um, or at least it feels like it anyway. So we had a bit of a lie-in. I mean, I recorded, I just haven't spoke to you, which you'll have seen. So yeah, we had a lie-in, made pastries. Yeah, then we had like a couple of hours doing not too much. Um, then we went to the gym. It was a good gym session. I always prefer going with Matthew and Matthew's actually joined now because he was just getting day passes before but he's joined now so he can go with me for a good few months. Um, obviously sometimes I'm going to have to go on my own still but he has actually joined the gym now so that most of the time I would be going with Matthew which is good. So I feel better about it because then he can help me. Yeah I actually just ended up playing on The Sims for a bit and then I actually put up a giveaway on my Instagram. It's with uh, four other accounts. Um, it's all it's all on Instagram, so make sure you go and check it out on Instagram. We're not doing the giveaway on YouTube or Twitter. We're just um, sticking to Instagram because we all have accounts on there. So make sure you head over to my Instagram because the giveaway will still be going when this is on. It's on for two weeks and it's a really good giveaway. Um, all of us have bought like prizes for it and put into it and yeah, we're really, really excited. We've been planning it for a while. So, and now I'm coming to bed because I can't keep my eyes open. I've also gone really red because I was freezing. So I turned the heating up and now I'm like, I don't know, a bit kind of central heat and warm. But yeah, I'm going to get to sleep and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Good night. Mr. Boone, is it time Yeah, it'll try and open. 
Why is it not going down? I don't understand. Why are you coming out of it? Oh. <laughs> see if I roll you, it's just gonna open. I don't even know what position my head's in right now. Let's see, you went in that. Your head should be here. My head is definitely not up there. Where's your head? I don't know. Tap the box. Your head's here. No, my head's on the floor. How's your head down there? The button's on. The button's touching where your head is. You're trying to get daddy out. Oh, oh you right next to where your head is. So my neck is like. Right. Not meant to be in this position. This way. Oh. Is that fun? I think I've got a <laughs> neck fracture. A <laughs> neck fracture. Hey guys, it's actually Monday and I am sat editing the weekly vlog and I realised that I'd basically just barely recorded yesterday. Like, there's literally just me and Matthew playing in the box. Because apparently when you've got loads of stuff to do, that's what two adults do. They procrastinate and act like children. <laughs> We just had a really, really bit of a kind of a chill morning um, but I actually did end up spending the rest of the afternoon really busy um, because I wanted to launch some Valentine's bracelets which I started at the end of December. In fact I started them two days after Christmas and then things have just got so crazy and busy lately that I realised it's Valentine's Day on Wednesday and I haven't even put them on the internet. I hadn't finished making them or nothing. So you guys know what it's like when I do an Etsy launch, it gets crazy and I launched my valentine's bracelets yesterday like decided on the morning like if i don't do it now people won't get them in time for valentine's but of course they're not just for valentine's it's a Minnie mouse like mickey bracelet and it's like red and then there's a snow white one which is red as well so they can be for any time but just in case anyone wanted them for valentine's day so i literally announced them on the morning and launched them on the evening so there are actually still some left i think all the size 18s are gone because it was just so last minute and valentine's day is on wednesday so I apologise if anyone who isn't in the UK would have liked more time and stuff to figure out if they were wanting to get one. But there are still some left if anyone's interested. And yeah, I spent all afternoon making the bracelets, getting the pictures, packaging them up and putting them on Etsy. And it was just a bit crazy and then just crashed and went to bed. So sorry about that. But they are now on Etsy if anyone wants to go and check them out. There's literally only two bracelets. It was like two styles of bracelets. It was a very small launch. So yeah, that's why I didn't record for the rest of the day. So I do apologise. But uh, yeah, this is kind of the end of the week of vlog. So I hope that's okay. I hope it was a great week. Me and Matthew have got the whole week off together. And um, we've got a lot to do around the house. So we need to stop playing in boxes. And I've got a lot of things, a lot of things on at the minute. A lot of extra things have just popped up today as well, apparently. So I'm a bit crazy busy right now, but I'm okay. And I'm going to get this edited and get it up because it's already quite late in the day because I was doing all the Valentine's orders, like Etsy orders, like earlier. And Matthew's been in the post office for me, so bit of a crazy day and yeah i'll see you in next week's vlog and i hope you enjoyed this one so i'll see you next time bye guys